Hey guys, Christoph the Polish Geek here and I have the review for you, Scream 6. Like, this will be brief because I'll try to make it very spoiler free because Scream movies are famous for twists so I'll try to make it spoiler free. So yeah, though I'll make it clear. I haven't seen last year's Scream movie, literally, I have not seen last year's. Scream movie, so, and it's quite pretty obvious to me while I was watching it that the movie very much was referencing the last year's one, so This will be a little bit tough, but I will talk to you what I can because again as I said I haven't seen last year's Scream movie and I do find it kind of Weird that they would release two Scream movies just year to year literally, but that's what it is, so yeah and Scream 6 is it's not by no means bad movie, but it very much feels like something you've seen before, like the original Scream movies are certainly much better. And, and again, I'm never, I'm, I was never a huge fan of a Scream franchise in the first place. I don't hate it, but I don't even dislike it. I do think it's enjoyable watch, but they are not certainly my like go-to movies. They're not some even some of my favorite horror movies, actually. But I know Scream franchise has lots of its fans, so yeah, that's what I'm talking about this with you. But Scream 6 was one of those movies that's pretty fun to kill in the theater, but it's probably not something I'm going to watch again. Like, and if I want to watch a Scream movie ever, I will certainly either watch one of the older Scream movies, for sure, instead of this one. Because this feels like something very much you have seen before. And the final twist of who the killer is, that was fairly predictable, at least to me personally. Maybe there are people out there who did not predict the twist, I don't know, but I predicted it and I was very right. And the final battle of the killer was a little silly and over the top, but again, spoilers, so I won't talk about it. Maybe I'll do a second review with spoilers and then I will tell you about this final battle but I will say it was very very silly and you know, honestly while there are few interesting characters in the movie sadly none of the main ones are like the old screen movies had kind of relatable kids that you didn't really want to die but here you kind of really don't care about the characters at least I didn't because the main characters are pretty boring here actually and in general, the movie actually talks also a lot about the old Scream movies. It's almost as they play, take place in a different universe. Probably they do, though as I said, I haven't seen the last year's Scream movie. Maybe I'll know more then. So I guess in some ways you can argue it's like a parody of the old Scream movies. Which, as I said, they're certainly much better than this. So overall, my opinion on Scream 6 is... A fairly generic slasher that tries to recreate something past movies have already done much better. Maybe I'll do a review with spoilers later about it, but maybe but it's only a maybe. For now, these are my quick thoughts on Scream 6. And certainly, it's certainly not as it's certainly not as terrible as Cocaine Bear, and I'm sure it will nowhere near be near as bad as the Disney live action remakes. But, it's pretty forgettable and isn't anything special. So, here are my thoughts on Scream 6. Tell me, are you a fan of Scream franchise? What did you think of Scream 6? Let me know, please subscribe to this channel, press the like button, and I will talk to you soon in another video. Talk to you very soon, bye!